everybody, welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium and Channel. Happy New Year. So 2022, there's so much I was getting prior to the show. And I just kept thinking there's a no way I'm going to remember all of this. So bring it as we go. And B... <laughs> B, the show is only 30 minutes and I want to take callers so I won't be able to say everything. So really quickly, this year, every week, every single week, I'm going to try to remember to do an opening clearing, um, a healing right at the beginning of the show for self-love and to raise our vibration. Um. I have been told, channeled, have the knowing that our frequency or our vibration is one of the biggest things that allows us to manifest or create the world that we want. We're, when we are in a higher frequency, uh, happier, if you will, genuinely happy, not fake it till you make it happy, genuinely happy vibration, we create more and things come to us more easily, easier. Let's just say easier. And in those moments, everything just flows, like, like everything just starts happening for us. So the first clearing or healing we're going to do <clears throat> is, um, I love myself. I, I get a yes, but everybody listening, re-listening, watching loves themselves. Let's um, let's do a clearing on that. Now, we get it twisted and we don't always understand what appropriate self-love is. We don't want to be egoic. We've been taught not to be egoic. And the, the truth of the matter is that that was, that is it, it, so flawed when you love yourself unconditionally, the way they say we're supposed to love everybody else, that means you're just taking care of yourself the way you would take care of anybody else that you loved. When you unconditionally love yourself, that means you're thinking and behaving in a way toward yourself the way that you would toward anyone else that you unconditionally love. For example, a newborn baby. When you see or have like when my nieces were born, oh my goodness, I didn't know that much love existed in this world. I just like wanted in those moments everything for them. And that is the way we're supposed to feel about ourselves all the time. But we are always projecting that onto other people. So for this year, once a day for at least five minutes, I want you to feel that way about yourself. I want you to think about yourself in that way of unconditional love, like you're an infant. Like imagine yourself this teeny tiny little baby. And imagine everything you would want for yourself as your own. Do is create. Uh, I know everybody talks about manifesting, whatever. Um, that's played out. The law of attraction is played out. Everybody's done with hearing about it because you tried it and it didn't work. You bought the ticket. It didn't work. You went to the seminar. It didn't work. Hmm. Guess what? You have to believe you deserve. First of all, you have to believe you can you can actually have what you want. And second, you have to believe you deserve what you want. So in believing you can have it, let's use the lottery. If I'm playing the lottery, I have to believe that I can actually win. That there's really, honestly, truly the opportunity for me to win and that, yes, I'm going to. That's a really simple example. Second, 
if I'm going to believe that um, I have to believe I deserve the amount of money because I will only receive what I believe I can, what I deserve, what I believe I deserve. Okay, I know that the words got jumbled there, but I think you can figure it out. So the second clearing we're going to do today is on I believe I deserve. So we're going to clear that now, clear, clear, clear. Who we... Oh, that one hit me, folks. I hope it's hitting you too. Now, I'm going to go to the first caller. When I call your name, please uh, your, give me your name and your uh, where you're calling from. Just your first name, where you're calling from, and your question. One question. Uno, dos, no one. <laughs> I was going to break into song there. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> I don't even know the rest of that song. That's it. I don't. And I'm sure by that very descriptive moment, you have no idea what song that is. Um, now I can't get the song out of my head. Um, okay. Have a question prepared or a connection. If you want a connection, let's say to a grandma or a grandpa or a parent, please have your comment or conversation or question for that loved one on the other side. Also, take me off of speakerphone. If you have me on speakerphone, it's going to um, disrupt the audio. And third, remember, if you are asking about other people, if other people are involved in your situation, you have free will, they have free will. Whatever is the the answer for today, it doesn't mean it's going to be the answer for tomorrow. It doesn't mean it's going to be the answer for the next day. Um, people have free will. They can change their mind. They can change their behaviors. You can feel pretty confident and say or do something ridiculous. And, and then there we go. It all, whatever I said, doesn't even matter anymore. Okay, I want to say hi to some people on YouTube watching live. I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me and, and my callers. I love you guys so much. Um, Genevieve, Mimi, John, Heather, thank you so much for tuning in and everybody else. If you want to comment on YouTube, please go right ahead and leave a comment. If you want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go to the first caller. Ah, 415. 415, how can I help you today? Hi, Tony, this is Kate. Hi, Kate. So I need to move suddenly, and I was kind of panicked at first, but that won't get me to the better place that I'm going to. So I want to move smoothly and find a new place. And what do you feel about um, sharing with somebody or an empty apartment or anything yeah. about this transition? Okay, so I believe, Kate, um, we did, if I have the right person here, um, I believe we did discuss yeah, this in a private cool. session. And, and you kind of did have a little bit of a heads up because I did, I think I did tell you yeah. that you were going to have to move. So it's not as suddenly as um, you you're thinking it is, but it is a shock. It is a shock because I know, and I yes. know when I was telling you during the reading, you were like, nope, I don't need to worry about that. I'm not ready for that. I can't, I'm not ready for that. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, I, picture, I just pictured the spring. I pictured more like April yeah, or, and not well, February. You know what? I'm going to say this, and I really want you to embrace it. You know, when we want things and when the universe wants things, two completely different things. And oh, I'm yeah. also going to say this. When we're in a situation with someone, whether it's a partner, a, a love partner, a roommate, a work situation, a fr even a friend. I've had this happen with friends. Um, we If if we're in a situation that's not healthy and for our highest good and they're, oh, yeah. let's just say spreading negative energy about us that we don't know about, um, God, you know, the universe or God, I like to use the word God. If that offends anybody, figure out why it offends you and then move on with your life. Um, 
God, God will remove us from, from their life. Okay. Uh, and for us, it's everything okay. that happens, happens for us. And, um, it happens to help us get in a better place. I don't even, I, I'm going to say, don't get another roommate. Um, try to be in as much of a standalone situation as you can. And standalone means being in a situation okay. where if you do have to move into an apartment and there's nothing wrong with apartments and condos, um, be in one with fewer people. And when you walk in, really feel the energy of that place. Does it match your energy? Do you feel better right. when you walk in? Do you feel sadder when you walk in? Because that's the energy of the other people in that that living situation. Um, so I feel like you're going to do a stand. You're going to you are going to relocate. I do believe you will have up to three months if you talk with your current roommate. It will be uncomfortable though because she um, is. Um, I don't care. Yeah. She's just not. It, it, there's a lot of discontentment in the situation, and you know some people are really good as friends, but then when you live with them, it, it there's. It's a weird dynamic. You find out a little too much about your friends. Anyway, um, I do feel like you may even go, if not to a different, you may go to a different city, if not a different state. And I know you're not looking at that big of a move right now, but I do feel like you're going to go, okay, if I'm starting over, where do I really, really want to start over? And you're going to look at all your opportunities. I feel like, you, and then once you know and you have the place or the, the location you want to go to, you're going to say, okay, this is where I want to go, and this is my timeline, and you're going to talk with your roommate, and it's all going to work out perfectly for you. Um, I do feel like this is one of those situations where you might feel like I'm going to make a lot of moves in silence and not tell her and that's okay but keep the timeline conversation going with her so it doesn't get more aggressive on her part if that makes sense sure. to you there is going to be a little bit one more little um i'm just going to call it a falling out because she really has a hair in her patootie <laughs> she has a hair up her patootie that <laughs> <laughs> that is, she, there's something with her that is really being uh, tested right now. And all you can do is just let her know you're making moves towards the goal and, and um, be very logical with her. And it will help the rest of this day be somewhat... Um, functional. And what we want here is to be functional. We want the rest of it to be healthy and functional. Okay, love? Yes, thank you very much. You are so welcome. And thank you so much for calling okay. in. I look forward to talking with you again in a future show. And I, I know you're going to find something very soon. You just have to figure out where's your perfect next location. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the question. I will focus on that. Thanks, love. Thank you so much. And Happy New Year. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, who is uh, 256. 256, how are you today? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Kimberly from Georgia. Hey, Kimberly. How can I help you today? I, I just love, I need to tell you, I love the South. <laughs> I do. Oh, the food is so good. The tea is so good. Everything there is so, so good. <laughs> okay. How can I help you, love? Yeah, I, um, I'm at a point where I'm really, I'm really ready to, um, I'm curbing my emotions, but I'm really ready to, to leave a job. And um, I just I just need some na navigation, helping, 
with that because I've been applying for other jobs as well. Okay. But um, I had a situation today that it, it was just a red flag for me. Yeah. And I, I don't want to be abrupt and just quit. Um, but I just need some, some maybe some help from spirit. Yeah, so the first thing I hear is um, I'm hearing two songs and um, I know what they mean. So when I first say this, let me let me finish. Don't get stuck on my first words. Don't go stay. And these are okay. two different songs. Stay until you find something else. Now, part of the reason you're being pushed out of this job is because A, there is something better for you, but also B. Now, let me be very, 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 very clear about this. There's something you're supposed to be doing all on your own, little mama, little mama. I cannot say it like people say it. It's supposed to be L-I-L, -L, little, but I always say the T in it. Little mama. I, can't, I wish I could. Ooh, little mama. Little mama. <laughs> little mama. <laughs> yeah, little mama. <laughs> say it again. Say it again for me. Little mama. Little mama. Yep, that's it. Exactly. Okay. I wish I could like drop my tea off of that because they're showing me the print of that. Like, like just call it little mama. Okay. So, okay. We're going to move on from that. Ay, ay, ay. But what? <laughs> <laughs> there is something you're supposed to be doing on your own. And the first thing you're supposed to be doing, I keep hearing book, 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 book. Now, this is how this is going to go down. Somebody on the other side, I just love the way they talk to you. <laughs> okay, this is how this is going to go down. You are going to write a book. And maybe this book is about your life. Maybe it's about things that happened in your life. I don't know what this book is about. Um, I, okay. Apparently this book is supposed to be about the courage to, the courage to survive or the courage to move on, something like that. But the bigger part of this is, and the better part of this is that you're going to write this book, but from the book, uh, the book is not a woe is me. I have such a sad story, such a sad life book. Yeah, these bad things happen, but this is how I over, this is how we overcome. And maybe they're not things that specifically happen to you. Maybe they're things that happen to a loved one or like, like our parents, we are, I don't care what age you are. Our parents went through some stuff. I mean, when my mom, my, yeah. my mom never used to yeah. talk that much about her life, but the little bit that she did let out, I, I have PTSD just from hearing it. I'm just like, uh, okay, I should not complain about having to be in the house every night at eight o'clock then. Okay. Um, so I think you're going to write a book is what the, now... I'm not the boss of you and I cannot put a pen in your hand and start moving your hand around and make you do this. Not that you would write it with a pen in this day and age. However, they are saying you have the potential. You have an amazing book inside of you, whatever this book is. And maybe, maybe they're not giving the content of the book out on air because it's supposed to be your book and nobody's supposed to pick up on it and run with it. But from this book that you write, and I don't care if the book is about beauty, exercise, body, um, overcoming, I don't care what the book is about, but you, you already have an idea of this. From this book, you, <clears throat> excuse my voice, you are going to then come up with a Almost like the book, the some people write a book and then they write a second book and a third, but it's almost like going to be like a magazine or a something that branches off of that and it leads you into something else like a program that you offer to people. So whatever the content of this book is leads you to that. Now, you will need a J-O-B while you do these first steps. Do not write the book with the idea of the program in mind. Write the book with the idea that I'm, I'm writing this book. It's something, it's a story that needs to be told. Whether that's, and I don't know why this is 
coming to me, whether that's surviving the South or whatever it is, because there are a lot of stories about back in the day and um, and the South. That's a, I'm just going to. I'm just going to drop that there. And those who know, know. Um, and, and again, maybe this isn't your personal story. Um, maybe it's somebody else's story that you're telling because they never had the opportunity to. Whatever this is, it's inside of you. You have the information and you're going to put it out there. And from this is going to, this is going to be the platform that everything goes from. Okay, love. Do keep looking for another job. I feel like within a month, you're going to find a better position for you. It's going to be more of an equal vibration. Um, the energy you will be at at this job is going to match the energy you're in. It's it's going to be very, uh, it's a lock. I hear it's a lock. L-O-C-K. It's a lock. Um, so keep looking. You are going to find something. It's going to be a little bit different than what you're doing right now. So keep your options open as far as what you want to do. But I feel like it's going to be. OK, thank you. Uh, it's going to be something you really like. And keep in mind, this might be like a good old fashioned Southern cookbook, too. A book doesn't always have to be. About it can be like a, a a cookbook with stories like your some good old Creole. I don't even I don't know what Creole is. I've never had Creole. I don't think I'm even saying it correctly to be honest. But like in a story about where this recipe came from and something with this person's life and how they survived it. Whatever this book is for you that's the direction you're supposed to go into next. Okay, beautiful little mama? Yes, thank you. <laughs> I, I know that this thank is a little so bit more than you called in for, but please think about, like, just think about, <clears throat> excuse me, think about the people in your history. So family, friends, family, friends, um, and what needs, to, and it could even be yourself, what what needs to be shared? And that can be a combination. It doesn't have to be one thing. It can be a combination of things. And pay attention to your dreams because if they don't catch you while you're awake, they're going to catch you while you're sleeping and they're going to give you this beautiful, like, it's just going to pop and come to you, okay? It's going to pop okay. and come to you. Okay, thank you so much for coming, calling in. <laughs> thank you so much for coming into the show today. Um, thank you so much for thank calling you. in. Thank you. You are so welcome. And remember, there is another opportunity as far as work goes within a month for you. So do keep looking, but don't leave until you have something, okay? Got it. Got it. Got it. Thank you. You've been very helpful. You are so welcome and absolutely my pleasure. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 607. 607, how can I help you today? Hi, my name's Nicole. Um, I want to know about... Uh, my future that's tied into this week. Okay, that's not what I do on the show, but that's more like a personal reading, and that's that's very big. So what I'm going to just tell you, as far as this week goes, what you, you know, Nicole, I'm not even going to go there. I'm just going to tell you what your angels are telling me to tell you. Um, mm -hmm. And if you hang up on me, please remember this is from your angels, not from me. So if you want to be peed at somebody, be peed at your angels. You need to get up off your butt and you need to start doing what you need to do in life. Your couch isn't giving you the answers. Your TV isn't giving you the answers. Life doesn't sit in your living room. Life is outside your front door. You need to get up and you need to get out, even if it's just for a walk every single day. You need to be in a situation where you are seeing new things and doing new things, you've gotten into this like um, 
heaviness and it needs to be shaken off of you. It needs to be taken from you. And I am doing some clearing work on that for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening. Um, and what they really are saying is, you know, if you if you are just having the same exact thoughts every single day and doing the same exact things every single day, how the heck are we going to change your life? How the heck are we going to do anything for you when you're not doing anything new for yourself? How the heck are we supposed to make it better when you keep doing the same thing and we keep telling you get up and get out that doesn't mean get up and get out to the bar or the club or the this or the that you cannot get your stimulation from false things they want you to let go of what has not worked in the past let go of anything and everything oh i think i know what they're talking about Anything that has not worked in the past, anything that keeps you sad, that keeps you stuck, anything, and stop making excuses, stop making justifications and reasons, and get into you, get into what's about you, get into where you want to be. Your life is not a I don't know if you have a situation going on with someone else, but your life is not about someone else. Your life is about you. Your life is about where you're supposed to be. Your life is about what you're supposed to be doing. Now, I am going to tell you, I, 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 I'm a channel, so things come out of my mouth. And some of the things that come out of my mouth, I can say I resemble that. I've been in that situation. I know exactly what they're talking about. And I... I'm going to tell you, I, I think I, I'm going to, I could guess what they're talking about, but I'm not going to say that. I am going to say you need to get up and you need to get out of the pattern that you have been in. And then your life will start to change and you'll start to bring back some of that joy and happiness. But if you keep doing the same thing every day over and over again, that's not going to happen. And I think that's for everybody. Now, this is, a, here's a great, let me segue into, this is why I say have a very exact question available because you might not like what they have to say to you. They, angels are not, they are extremely loving, but they are going to tell you what you need to do when you need to do it. Whether they're saying it through me, through your family, through your friends, you might not like hearing it, but it's time for you to hear it and move on. So we're getting close to the end of the 30 minutes. I want to thank everybody so much who has called in, listened in, watched in. I'm going to do one more healing before we take off. And that healing is going to be on ding, 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 abundance. It's the beginning of the year. We are all bringing in wealth and prosperity. I get a no. We are going to clear that and I'm going to do one more. We have a consciousness of wealth. I get a no, so let's clear that. Now, holy, whoo, that one hit, that one hit me. Every time you watch this show and you listen to those clearings, you will possibly take off another layer or hit whatever you need to hit. So if you listen to this every day, you will get that. I will be back on Wednesday with my relationship episode, which is um, uh, Relationship Wednesday. I don't know who my co-host is going to be this Wednesday, but please join us with any relationship questions or just join in to listen in.